Hi, I'm David Maldo, and in this video, I'm going to bring up the view from four different webcams so that you can compare them side by side. This is one of a series of videos comparing over a dozen webcams. We're doing them in a round robin so you can see each of them in a head-to-head. -head. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. Logitech has sponsored this series of videos. However, they asked me to keep it neutral. I'm not going to share any of my own opinions. I'm just going to show it to you and let you see for yourselves. As part of keeping things fair, I'm leaving all the cameras on their default settings. Usually I like to tweak the brightness, the contrast, to try to optimize things, but I don't want to subconsciously bias anything in favor of one camera over another. So I'm just going to leave everything on their defaults. Okay, so let's bring up our four cameras. In this video, we're going to compare the Logitech C925e, the Logitech C920, the Nexigo N620, and the N5. The first thing we always look at is our aspect ratio or the shape of our window. And all four of these cameras are 16 by nine. For every 16 pixels across, there's nine up and down. That gives us this rectangular shape, this familiar rectangular shape, which is what most of our video apps are looking for. So we're all set. Next, we look at our field of view or how much of the room we capture. If I had a colleague meeting with me, could they sit next to me and be on camera? And if I talk with my hands, is this, does that come across at all? The next thing we take a look at is distortion, or how well the cameras handle straight lines. Now to be fair, these cameras are doing a hard job. They're focusing in on, on my face, but they're also trying to capture the room. So there may be some curvature around the edges, but for the most part, we want our straight lines to look straight. So I try to include a lot of straight lines behind me, the guitar necks, the cabinet, the curtain rods. So determine for yourself how well these cameras are handling distortion. Next, we want to compare our color handling. I've tried to put as many colors as I could behind me, but when we look at color, there's two things we want to consider. One is, does it look good? Does my blue wall look like a nice blue wall? But the other is, is it accurate? Unless you've been in my office, you don't know what exact shade of blue this is. So that's why I included the Coca-Cola box. We should all know what Coca-Cola red looks like. So determine for yourself if the color handling is accurate. The next thing we want to look at is exposure or how well the cameras handle the lighting in this room. Now, like a lot of home workers, I don't have ideal lighting. It's too bright in some places, and I have, in shadows, and I have some shadows in other places. So judge for yourself how well these cameras are, are handling the, the lighting in this room. The next thing to compare is the sharpness or the clarity of these cameras' images. And with webcams, that's mostly determined by the resolution of the camera. Now, all four of these cameras are running at 1080p, where there's 1080 pixels up and down for every 1920 left and right. I consider anything above 720p to be high definition. So these are all definitely high definition cameras. So I try to put a lot of uh, detailed items behind me. We have some text. So you could look at me, look at the things behind me, and judge for yourself what you think about the clarity of each camera. And the last thing we want to compare is the audio. Each of these webcams has an internal mic. I've been using this Logitech Zone headset to keep it neutral between the cameras, but I'm going to switch to each of these cameras in turn so you can hear them. And to make it a more realistic test, we have some background noise. I have a loud air conditioner and my computer fans are, are just humming away. We'll also add some other background noise, some crowd noise. I have a file I'm playing through the computer now of just people talking uh, to simulate a, a busy workspace. But what I'm going to do is I'll play it on my phone here. So it'll be playing ambiently to see if the cameras pick it up. Now the headset's probably not picking it up uh, too much right now. The headset's designed not to, but I want to see how the cameras deal with this. So let's switch to the first camera. Okay, so you're now hearing me on the Logitech C925e, and judge for yourself how I sound. If we're working together, could you make out what I'm what I'm saying over the background noise in my office? If I'm working in a crowded environment, can we still get some work done? Can you make out what I'm saying over over what the um, the noise of the people around me? And as long as we're here in this close-up view, let's take a look at everything else we've talked about. What do we think about the field of view? Could I have a coworker on camera with me? Can I talk with my hands? What about our straight lines? Is our distortion okay? Can I, are my guitar necks looking straight to you? Uh, the color handling, does the color look nice and does the color look accurate, or Coca-Cola red? The exposure, how well is we, are we dealing with the lighting here? And the sharpness, the clarity and detail of the image. And with that, let's go on to our next camera. Okay, you're now hearing me on the Lie Detect C920. So again, how do, how do I sound to you? If we're working together, can you make out what I'm saying over the fans and noise in my office? If I'm trying to work in a crowded area, is that, is that just a bad idea? Can we still get some work done despite the, the crowd noise? And as long as we're here, let's give you another minute to hear me and uh, go over everything else we've talked about so far. What do we think about our field of view, how it's capturing the room? Can I have a colleague wor uh, working with me? Can I talk with my hands? How is it handling our straight lines, our distortion? Our color, uh, the accuracy, the Coca-Cola red, the exposure, how well it's dealing with the lighting, 
and the sharpness, the detail of, of myself and everything on the wall behind me. And with that, let's move on to our next camera. So you're now hearing me on the Nexigo N620. And again, how do I sound to you? Can we get some work done? Can you understand what I'm saying over the noise in my office? If I decide to work in a crowded area, can you understand what I'm saying over the noise of the crowd? And as long as we're here, let's take a closer look at everything we've talked about so far. What do you think about our field of view? Working with a, a coworker, talking with my hands. Distortion, how, how um, is the camera handling our straight lines? My guitar necks uh, still look straight. Um, color, does the color look nice and does it look uh, accurate? The exposure, how well is it dealing with the, the bad lighting in my office? And uh, the sharpness, the clarity, what do you think of the clarity of the image, myself and everything behind me? And with that, let's move on to our final camera. You're now hearing me on the N5. And again, how do I sound to you? Can you hear me over the fans in my office? Can we get some work done together? If I'm working in a crowded area, can you make out what I'm saying over the noise of the crowd? You can still get be productive. And as long as we're here, let's go over everything uh, on our list so far. What do we think about our, our field of view, talking with my hands, having a coworker? Uh, our straight lines, our distortion handling, the uh, color, the accuracy, our Coca-Cola red, exposure, how well it deals with the light, uh, sharpness, the details of myself uh, and everything behind me. So obviously audio is pretty subjective, but you know what sounds good to you. And remember, the key thing is, th this is for business meetings. This is for working together. So I want people to be able to understand me clearly. I don't want you straining to make out my words. I want you just focusing on being productive with me. So that wraps up this video. I hope you check out the rest of the videos in this series so you can see all the head-to-head matchups. And I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.